around the globe, come to Pottsville, Pennsylvania for the aptly named Friendship Classic. The elite athletes of the world will compete in a series of gymnastics events that will test their skills under the pressure of performing in a world-class event. Who will take home the gold? We have the answer for you, coming up next. From the Pennsylvania coal regions and Pottsville, Pennsylvania, a city better known for its yingling brewery than gymnastics, CNA Sports brings you the 2005 Friendship Classic. Hello, everyone. I'm Lou Tilly along with Shannon Miller. And for the seventh time, Pottsville plays host to one of the best up-and-coming gymnastics meets for international competitors. Nine different nations will fly their flags here tonight. These are the elite young women of gymnastics coming up through the ranks. Why is it important to have experience in international competition? Well, international gymnastics is a whole different ball game. It's going to a new country. It's having to deal with things like time changes and, you know, American judges and getting in front of those American judges so they learn your name. And a lot of these girls out here are very young. They're juniors. They've never been in an international competition before. So it's great experience. Yeah, I noted in many of the biographies of the young women that they say they're looking forward to this very much, to see some of the athletes from other parts of the world and compete with them head on. Along those lines, these are elite competitors, the top level, including an Olympic champion, a bronze medalist from the past Olympics. Yes, this is Zhang Nan. She's competing for China. She's already an all-around bronze medalist at the 2003 World Championships, followed that up with a bronze medal in the all-around at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games. Coming in right behind USA's Carly Patterson and Russia's Svetlana Korkina. Tonight, she wants gold. And we'll also see another outstanding young gymnast from China here tonight as well. Yes, her teammate Han Bin at just 15 years old could give Zhang Nan a run for her money. Already this year, Han Bin has won gold on the floor exercise and even bars and captured the gold in the all around at the Asian Gymnastics Games. She's looking for this to be her real breakout moment in international competition. You know our honored guest commentator Shannon Miller is one of the most decorated worldwide and certainly United States history, but Shannon really, this is what it's all about leading up to the fame and fortune, the developmental, and you'll see some of the finest young gymnasts from around the world here in Pottsville tonight. The Friendship Classic being brought to you by CN8 Sports. We'll be back to tell you more about it and the competition right after this. 87 miles north and west of the city of Philadelphia, not far from Carbon County, Coal Country in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Nine nations gather to contest the Friendship Classic. Elite gymnastics tonight. Uh, and uh, CN8 proud to be here with you. And of course, we'll be covering the four basics of uh, gymnastics. Shannon Miller, the great American gymnast, is our analyst here and is here to explain the four disciplines that you'll be watching as only she can. Thanks, Lou. I'm down here at the vault, the most explosive of all of the women's events. On vault, the judges want to see three main things. They want to see height, distance, and form in the air. They want to see a powerful blocker push off the vaulting table so that they can get maximum height and distance away from the horse. In addition to that, the all-important stuck landing. The uneven bars demand an enormous amount of upper body strength. The judges on this event are looking for vertical handstands, perfectly straight lines between the wrists and the toes. They're also looking for a good combination of pirouetting and release moves. Release moves are the exciting skills where the gymnast will let go of the bar, do a flip or a turn, and re-grasp the bar. In addition to that, the judges look for rhythm. They want to see that the gymnast can flow through the routine and get to the dismount and to that stuck landing without any major breaks or pauses. At just four inches wide, the balance beam is the Achilles heel of some of the world's top gymnasts. On balance beam, each gymnast needs to really load up her routine with the acrobatic and dance skills that she needs to start from a 10.0 start value. Those bonus skills need to be done with confidence. She needs to get up and attack the balance beam and be aggressive in every single move. She also has to complete all of these skills before her feet leave the beam for the dismount. She has one minute and 30 seconds to do all of it. 
floor exercise is approximately 40 feet by 40 feet. So every time the gymnast competes, she needs to stay within this white line. If she is to step out of this white line by even a pinky toe, it's going to be one-tenth deduction automatically every single time. Back to you, Lou. Thank you, Shannon. And as she heads back up into the booth and we get ready for competition, I've mentioned this is elite gymnasts, but aging all the way from 10 through 19, of course, uh, the great majority of them American who have come here to the Friendship Classic, but nine nations in all represented. And take a look at this great gathering and of all places, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, best known for kingling beer, I guess. But while the hard workers gather in their local taverns on this evening, the world gathers here to watch these young up and coming gymnasts. The venue and location of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, bringing together nine nations tonight to watch some of the elite young women gymnasts from all around the world compete. CNA happy to bring you the competition. Lou Tilly along with Shannon Miller and our first, our first rotation of events about to get underway. And look at this young lady all the way here from Russia on the vault, Katerina Kramarenko. She is so tiny. She's only 13 years old. That was Yurchenko, full twist. Pretty good vault. She got some good repulsion off of the vaulting table. She needs to watch the form in the air just a little bit. Watch her arms on the horse. She bends them a little bit to push off instead of blocking with straight arms. She's a part of a trio of young Russians are here. They're reseeding their team, and 9.050 is her score on her opening vault. Now, also among the member nations here from China, Han Bin, our first look at her, and this is on the floor. <laughs> Excellent gymnast. Han Bin was first in the all-around floor exercise and uneven bars at the 2005 Asian Championships. She's going to open with whip, whip. Wow. To a two and a half twist. Very nice landing. Was able to stay in bounds. The Chinese are not known for their floor exercise abilities. No. Tumbling and vaulting are, are very difficult events for them. Typically, they're very good on uneven bars and balance beam, but they've made great strides in the last couple of years on this event. It was an interesting maneuver uh, out of the tumble to the uh, full leg. Why do you suppose that is, uh, Shannon? The traditionally not the correct coaching, not up to par with some of the rest of the world? Well, you can see by her flexibility. Sometimes when you have so much flexibility, it's harder to do the, the quicker moves, the more powerful tumbling moves and vaulting moves. Mm. A little bit low on that landing. Nice triple fold, though. Interesting event. A lot of these are the younger gymnasts, but targeted for the big time, particularly the teams from China and Russia who are here this week. She closes with a nice double pike. Once again, a little bit short of that landing, but as I've said, you know, these are the younger gymnasts, and they've got three years to go before the 2008 Olympic Games. So really, they're trying to get their skills and compete them in competition a lot and just gain that experience right now. Here's her triple full. She doesn't quite make it all the way around, which has caused her to stumble on the landing a bit. And her closing tumbling pass, nice high, double pike dismount. So coming up short uh, a couple of times, and the judges noting it, 8.20 is the score on the floor. Now from the United States, Chris Kocha on the vault. Our first look at Chris. It's a, basically, it's a soup on, a round up onto the horse with a laid out half twist off. It's actually in a piked position called a pike lacone. One of her favorite skills. She really enjoys vault, enjoys doing that skill. There's Chris talking with her coach, and the score is 9.075 for Chris Kosha, underway now on the vault first rotation. And we move on to another American, Grace Taylor of the U.S. on the bars. Grace is a powerful young athlete. 
Very good form in her garden. Stole the right to a reverse hack. Oh, she, boy. she pulls her feet up and over the high bar just a little too far, which causes her to be a little bit too far away from the bar. She can't quite catch it. Again, that's another one of those big skills that she's trying to get in there and compete just so that she gets the experience. And you know, sometimes these falls happen. She's got another big release move coming up. Right here. Mm -hmm. And a nice, actually that's probably supposed to be a double edge dismount. She pikes it around a little too much and actually grabs her leg, so the judges may take a, a deduction for that. Here's her first move. She does a stalled or right into a reverse hect. And she comes back very good and very strong with the rest of her routine, finishing up with a nice Important for these young gymnasts who are now getting their first look at international competition to learn how to deal with adversity. 8.350, the score for Grace Taylor. And now to Canada, our neighbors to the north, and Kelsey Hope on the beam. Kelsey. Our first look at this event. Kelsey starts with a, a pretty difficult mount, oh. round of layout step out. Beautiful grabs the judge's attention right off the bat. Nice back hand spring right out, step out. Kelsey has an excellent person coaching her. Just happens to be Elena Davidova, who was the 1980 Olympic champion. Russian? She's, <laughs> yes, she's from, she was from the Soviet Union at that time and, uh, of course, now coaches in Canada. Ooh, very difficult maneuver to land sideways on the bar, right? Very difficult. That side semi, you know, you only get a tenth for it, but it's so difficult to land sideways when you don't have anything to look at. You don't have anything to... Um, see to kind of put your eyes on to come back to sure. friendship classic is just that international field here assembled in Pottsville Pennsylvania of all places you can see the arena is perfectly suited for this sport beautiful full twist in the hands Many of these girls from outside the country are staying with the local families. Nice dismount, pretty good routine. Kelsey Hope of uh, Canada, and there's the coach that uh, Shannon just referenced from the then Soviet Union in 1980. Very difficult move right there. She has a full twist, and then she'll roll down her chest into a swing down position. And here's her dismount, back answering right answering into a double full. Very nice routine. And the score, 9.050 for Kelsey Hope. Still to come, some elite athletes from around the world that you'll want to keep your eye on when we come back. More gymnastics on CNA right after this.